Today, we are going to talk about how to calculate the vacancy formation energy with DFT. And uh, this equation number one is a formula for the calculation. And uh, so En means the energy for the perfect bulk with n atoms. And En minus one is the energy for the vacancy containing system. And uh, so in this tutorial, we are going to discuss two methods for the calculation. In the first method, you perform a DFT simulation to get the EN minus one and EN. And uh, for both cases, you fully relax the geometry of your system, which means that you relax the lattice parameters in addition to the atom positions. In the method number two, we follow the work by uh, Galen uh, in which you do not fully relax the geometry. You only relax the atom positions with the lattice parameters fixed. And then how can we get the lattice uh, parameters? So you simply try to rescale your volume to the vacancy containing system using this uh, expression. So if you have n atoms in your perfect bulk, you divide your volume of the perfect bulk system with n and then multiply n minus 1. So after you're getting the volume for the vacancy containing system, then you can get your lattice uh, parameter. For the aluminum FCC structure, we are going to study in this work because it's a cubic system. So when you know the volume of the system, then the lattice parameter is simply the cubic root of the uh, volume. So the two questions we are going to investigate are here. First, we are going to see which method converge the vacancy formation energy faster with respect to the supercell size, which means that with respect to the number n. And uh, the second question we are going to answer is that which method is computationally more efficient? So in the first step, we just try to get the lattice parameter for the aluminum FCC bulk. And uh, a, a schematic for, the, for this structure is given here. And uh, we are going to use the Quantum Espresso program for the calculation. And the PW potential is from the GBRV, downloaded from this uh, website. And uh, so I gave the Quantum Espresso input file here. And uh, you can see that we are going to fully relax the geometry of this bulk. So that's why I set the calculation type equal to VC dash relax. And uh, we are using the PBE exchange correlation functional for the calculation. And the Fermi Dirac smearing is used. And uh, we are using a unit cell here. So which means that we have four aluminum atoms in the simulation box. And uh, so the lattice parameter, I mean, the initial guess for the lattice parameter is given here. And uh, the fractional coordinates for the four atoms are given here as well. After the, the relaxation of the bulk, and uh, we summarize the results here, the lattice parameter for the aluminum FCC bulk is obtained at 404.04 angstrom. And uh, the volume for this unit cell is this one. And we also obtained the volume per atom by dividing this volume by number four, because we have four atoms in the system. And the total energy for the unit cell is given here, which will be used in the later calculations for getting the energy for the perfect bulk for our large system. In the following simulations, we are going to use supercells for calculation and uh, so that's why we are going to build uh, two supercells. One is a two by two by two, another is a three by three by three. And uh, the two by two by two cells has 32 atoms in the system. Three by three by three one has 108 atoms in the system. And uh, so it will be tedious if we manually construct these cells. So I'm going to use the atomic simulation environment uh, software for this job. So the ASE can be downloaded from this website. And uh, so the idea is that we are going to create a perfect bulk, which is a two by two by two and a three by three by three with the ASE program. 
And then after that, we are going to manually kick off one atom in the simulation box to create one vacancy in the system. So ASE is Python based. So here I give you the Python script for building a two by two by two supercell. Uh, so the key uh, command in ASE is try to call this bulk uh, function. And you put FCC here, which means that you're going to build an FCC cell. The, so the lattice parameter uh, is given here. And I put a cubic equal to true, which means that we are going to build a unit cell, which is cubic. And after that, we are going to replicate this cubic unit cell two times in both in all the x, y, z uh, directions. So I call this repeat function in ASE. I put a two here, means that we are going to repeat it two times in all the directions. So if you want to build a three by three by three supercells in the future, you just need to replace this number two with number three. In the end, I call this function to write the geometry in the VASP uh, format. So basically speaking, that the format will be postcar. And then you just extract uh, the information from postcar to quantum espresso. Next step, we are going to use the method one to calculate the vacancy formation energy. So we are going to demonstrate the method one uh, on the two by two by two supercell system. So here I give you the input file for the quantum espresso that fully relaxes the two by two by two vacancy system. And uh, you see that I still put this vc dash relax keyword for the calculation command here. And uh, because we have doubled the lattice parameter in all the directions, so you can have your key point mesh. In the previous calculation, we used 12 by 12 by 12 key point mesh. So now we can use a key point mesh, which is 6 by 6 by 6. And then you double your lattice parameters here. And you also and copy and, and paste your 2 by 2 by 2 uh, supercell constructed by ASE here. Uh, you see that I uh, don't have one atom at 0, 0, 0, because I kicked off that atom from here to make one vacancy. And here is a picture to show you the structure. You can see that we don't have one atom here. That's one vacancy in my system. So after the calculation, I put the energy here. So this is the energy for the fully relaxed vacancy system two by two by two. And uh, for the bulk system two by two by two, the perfect bulk two by two by two, I simply just uh, multiply the unit cell energy, this one by eight, because we replicate this cell two times in all the directions. And so you will get this uh, number and uh, then you can plug in this number and this number into the equation one. And n equals to 32 in this case, because you have four atoms in the unit cell, and now you replicate your unit cell two times in all the directions. So the total number of the atoms in your system is four times two times two times two, that is 32. So then you get your vacancy formation energy. Uh, which is this number, 0 0.632. You can repeat this for the 3 by 3 by 3 case, uh, for which you have uh, 108 atoms for the perfect bulk system. For the vacancy system, you have one atom missing, so you have 107 atoms in the vacancy system. And uh, I also give you the quantum espresso input file for this 3 by 3 by 3 uh, vacancy system as well. And uh, after the calculation, the energy will be put here. So the energy for the perfect bulk whose size is three by three by three can be obtained by multiplying the energy for the uh, unit cell by 27, because three by three by three is 27. So then you plug in this number and this number these two numbers, 
into the vacancy calculation energy uh, equation, equation one, and uh, you will get uh, the vacancy formation energy 0 0.654. You can see that uh, the convergence of the energy of, of the vacancy formation energy for the method one uh, converges from the bottom, right? Because this number is smaller than this one. And I also list uh, the experimental uh, values here. So you can see that uh, this number 0 0.654 is close to the experimental uh, values. One thing I want to mention is that uh, if you do the three by three by three system, you can further reduce the key point mesh. In the previous case, we used a 12 by 12 by 12 key point mesh for the unit cell. And now because we triple the, the cell in all the dimensions, so then you can do 12 divided by three, you can do a four by four by four uh, key point mesh. Okay, so in the next step, we're going to use a uh, Galen's method, the method two, to calculate the vacancy formation energy. And uh, in the method two, you don't need to fully relax the lattice parameters. You just uh, rescale your perfect cell to get the lattice parameter for the vacancy system. And uh, the expression for doing that is given here. And the V non is uh, the volume per atom for the perfect system which I can obtain from the table one. By dividing the unit system's volume uh, by four, and after that, you multiply the number of atoms in the vacancy system. And uh, for the two by two by two system, you have uh, 31 atoms in the system. For three by three by three system, you have 107 atoms in the system. So then you take the cubic root to get the lattice parameter for the vacancy system. And the results are summarized here. So here I give you the quantum espresso input for relaxing the two by two by two system because for the method two, we don't relax the lattice parameters. So that's why I put the calculation keyword to relax, which means that we only relax the positions of the atoms in the system. And we know that the lattice parameter calculated from this equation will be 7.997 angstrom. So that's why I put a 7.997 angstrom here in this block and uh, then do the calculation. And the results are summarized here. So this is the energy from the previous calculation here, use this input file. And you can do the similar calculation by using 12.085 angstrom as the lattice uh, parameter for the vacancy system. And then the energy you can put it here. Whenever you finish this table, you can compute your vacancy formation energy, which is 0.701 for the 2x2x2 two by two by two case, and it's 0.677 for the 3x3x3 three by three by three case. And you can see that now the convergence trend is different from the method 1. For the method 2, it converges from the top. You see this number 0.677 is smaller than this number. And uh, it doesn't matter which direction it co uh, converges, either from the top or from the bottom. And the method two also is very close to the experimental uh, results. So in summary, and uh, we demonstrate the two methods for calculating the vacancy formation energy in this tutorial. And uh, both methods can converge to the formation energy if we uh, use a, build, a bigger uh, supercell. And uh, for the method one, in which you relax everything, including the lattice parameters, and uh, the vacancy formation energy converges from the bottom. 
for the method two due to a uh, Galen and uh, the vacancy formation energy converges from the top. And I would say that the convergence rate of both methods are similar with respect to n because if I go from 2 by 2 by 2 to 3 by 3 by 3, Galen's method will make the formation energy decrease by about 0 0.02 for the method 2. And for the method 1, it converges from the bottom. And if I go from 2 by 2 by 2 cell to 3 by 3 by 3 cell, the vacancy formation energy will also increase by about 0 0.02. So that's why I'm saying that both methods actually convergence rate for them are very similar against the N. So which method then should we use in practice for the calculation? I think Galen's method is better because for his method, you only relax the atom uh, positions. You don't need to relax the lattice parameters. And uh, which means that it will save a lot of time. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.